hello everyone you are highly welcome in today's tutorial today we are going to be solving this problem on the board we are given x squared plus x to the power of 3 equals 12 so what's the value of x now what we are going to do here is uh, i'm going to have it x squared plus x to the power of 3 then equals this 12 here will be written as 8 plus 4 so i'm going to be having x squared plus x to the power of 3 then equals this 8 can be 2 to the power of 3 and a 4 can be plus 2 to the power of 2 so now from there we're going to have x to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 3 then minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 everything equals 0 so now from here the next thing we're going to do those with 3 power 3 i'm going to take them together that is minus 2 to the power of 3 and those with uh, power 2, I will combine them together like this, then equals 0. Alright, so from there, the next thing we're going to do here is that uh, we should recall that, recall that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is going to be a plus b, it's going to be a, you're going to have a minus b into x squared plus ab plus b squared then also if you have a uh, s squared or let's say a squared okay minus b squared so this is going to be a minus b then a plus b that is difference of two squares all right so now from there the next thing we're going to do we're going to rewrite x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 we are going to rewrite it in this what in this form here in this form so we're going to have what we're going to have x minus 2 all to the power okay into bracket we have x squared plus 2x then plus what plus 4 because 2 squared will give us 4 then plus uh, we have a we have x we're going to have x minus 2 then x plus 2 so everything equals 0 all right from there so when you look at this you can see we have something common here so here we have x minus 2 here we have s minus 2 here so it's common we are going to take it out so now we're going to have what x minus 2 all right into bracket x plus x raised to power 2 plus 2 to the 2x then plus what plus 4 then here we're going to what we're going to be left with just a plus x plus 2 then equals 0 all right so from there we are going to have x minus 2 will definitely be 0 here or we have x squared all right when you add this and this together we're going to be having 3x that will be plus 3x then this plus this we're going to have what 6 then equals 0 all right so from there we have x to be equals 2 here that's the, the first solution or right, here we are going to relate this to this equation a x squared plus bx plus c equals 0 that is quadratic equation all right from there we're going to be seeing that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 3 and c equals what equals 6 all right so from there the next thing we're going to do is we are going to use a quadratic formula x is going to be x is going to be plus or minus it's going to be minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over what all over 2a understood so now from there so what we are going to have next so we are going to have this from here we're going to have x equals what is minus b we have minus 3 plus or minus the square root of uh, b squared is 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 6 
all divided by 2 or 2 times 1. So now from there, we are going to have what we're going to have x equals minus 3, then plus or minus. We have what we have 9 squared, uh, 9 minus 4 times 6, that will give us 24, all divided by 2. Then we have x equals minus 3, plus or minus. So 9 minus. 9 minus 24, 9 minus 24, we give us what? We give us 15, so we're going to have minus what? Minus 15, understood? Then divide by 2. So now from here, so we are going to have what? We are going to have x equals minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 1 multiplied by square root of 15, all divided by 2. So we have x equals minus 3 plus or minus. The square root of i is, I mean, square root of minus 1 is i. We have root what? Root 15. All right. So moving on, we have all divided by what? Divided by 2. So we're going to have the x2 is going to be minus 3. Taking the positive sign, i, root what? Root 15. Divided by what? Divided by 2. Then also we have the third one to be x3 minus 3, thinking the negative value, root what, root 15, or divide by 2. So then we have the real value to be x1 equals, uh, what did I get, 2, yes, 2. So we have this, this, and this. These are the, what, these are the possible solutions to the problem, All right? So if you find the class very interesting, kindly share to your friends so they can learn from it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.